Hi guys, it's Zion here and I just wanted to Hi guys, it's Zion here and I just wanted to Hi guys, it's Zion here and I've just come back from a, another antique fair where I didn't spend any money, did spend some money and I wanted to share that with you. So, welcome to another antique slash car boot shopping haul. Man, I'm having hassly camera problems today. For whatever reason, my camera's just being a complete fucking dick. You spend loads of money on a camera and equipment because you want to give good quality blogs, and what happens? Your camera just acts like a complete twat. It's probably a terrorist camera. I've just come back from an antique fair. I went there saying to myself, don't spend much money, don't spend much money. And to be fair to myself, I've only bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten items, which isn't bad. Unfortunately, the average price is around about 29 pounds an item, so I have actually spent quite a lot of money. But hopefully that is like spend money to make money. You know how it works. I hope that's okay with you mother truckers. First up, this is a bit of whimsy. Bear with me. One of the stalls that we went to, we got chatting to a very nice gent called Paul. There were some of his children's drawings on the table. His children were no longer there, but they were Star Wars pictures and non-Star Wars pictures. So I decided to buy the pictures because they are only 50p each and it will make the kid so happy. The kid might then think, hey, I can sell my art and go on and become some huge artist. So there you go. If you can do a nice thing, do it. So one of the first things that I got was this. It's a wooden vessel of some form. And it's very nice. I have no idea how old it is, but it's nicely constructed. It's a nice bit of wood. It smells nice. Smell it. <laughs> I think it's probably, yeah, it's tar lined, so it won't leak. Well, it probably will leak. But it wouldn't have leaked. I bought a leather bucket once for not much money, which I managed to sell for a couple of hundred quid. So that was really good. I love old bits of wood. And you can tell it's really old because of how dark the wood is. If you go like that, it gives you absolutely no clues whatsoever. But it makes you look professional. It makes it look like you know what the fuck you're talking about. That was just £10. Maybe 50 to 100 Maybe. Obviously it doesn't really have a modern day use, but it would make a really nice planter. Fuck it, where else is someone going to get it from? If they want it from me, they can pay 50 fucking quid. Now, I should mention that somewhere in here is a cat. All animals are banned from this room because obviously it's got a lot of expensive stuff in it that are break all. This cat is deaf, and one of the things that she absolutely loves to do is to throw stuff on the floor and watch them explode. Because to her there's no noise, it's just a nice pretty pattern. I really don't want her doing that in here. If all of a sudden I dive off, it's because she's come out of her hiding place and I've got to rid her from this room. Cats plus antiques equal trouble. I bought quite a lot of brewery arms. I hate that word because it makes it look like you're having a stroke or something until you get to the Arna bit when then people go, oh right, okay, he was actually saying words beforehand, not just going blah, 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 blah. This is not hugely exciting as an object. Valentine's Scotch whiskey, but it is in nice condition, save a small chip. Just there, just there, small chip. That's not too much of a big deal. It's quite an unusual shape. I think that that will probably sell quite well. I got five items from the same person and paid uh, 90 quid for all five. So you can do the maths of that. So it doesn't owe me very much. 20 to 30 quid, I would imagine. There's this chap, Drambuie. It's made out of plastic. Plasticoid. Pub advert. Prince Charlie, the Bonnie Prince Charlie. If you uh, look up his skirt, you might see his penis. Not sure how that works on plastic figures. Now, as you can imagine, things like this can be very popular and they can sell for a lot of money. I'll go for between 50 and 100 and see what happens. This was in the lot that cost me 90 for five bits. Next up, we have, sticking with the brewery Anna theme, there's this, a Scotch whiskey jug. Very unusual shape for a jug, look at that. That's quite a nice little detail, I'll zoom in on that. <laughs> Oh, the shame. I have one of those cameras with the screens where you press on the screen and it's supposed to focus in that area. And I was just going on the fucking lens and wondering why it wasn't working. Idiot. Now, where was I before I was busy being very stupid? I wanted to focus in on this bit. That's an unusual handle. I like that. Again, this was part of the five lots for 90 quid. I'll show you something that isn't brewery honor related right now, just so you don't get completely bored. This fine specimen of a boat, it's an inkwell. 
This is an ink and pen well. Well, that's an ink well. That's where the pens go. Copper, obviously. What's it say on the bottom? Made in France. You can hear the cat scrabbling. It's got its original pot, which is always good. And I think it is a really attractive deco piece. You can see the Odeon steps. That's what that's sort of called, the Odeon step sort of motif there. And this is a very common motif in deco. It's just a really nice item and it cost me 10 quid. Probably only worth 20, but I wanted to own it for a bit. So I bought it. I have caught the errant pussycat. Say hello to the internet, errant pussycat. This is Roxy. She's absolutely beautiful. She's lovely, but unfortunately, cats and antiques don't go. So I'm gonna have to chuck her out of the room. So bear with me. Pretty little face. Now the dog's just found out that she's been released, so the dog's now gonna chase her around the house for the next 10 minutes, fighting with her. Next item. I thought this was nice, as bits of wood go. Just a couple of bits of wood stuck together, but one of them's been carved out. It's gonna have been made during wartime, or just before or just after wartime. There's a little tiny bit of woodworm in the back. This costs 10 pounds, maybe 20 to 30. There's not a lot of money in it. But I just thought it was a nice item, so I was happy to have it for a little while. More breweriana, breweriana from Edinburgh, Scotland. This is for McCallum's Scots Whiskey. Stamped on the bottom, it's a nice jug, some story or other there. Over a century ago, in the year 1807, McCallum's Perfection Scots Whiskey was put on the market and was immediately recognised as of outstanding quality. Today, it enjoys a worldwide reputation as a whisky of the very highest quality. In fact, as good as a whisky can be. Damn hot in this room, that's why I always wear these little festy tops. It's either that or get completely naked and I'm not comfortable with that and I don't think the internet is ready for it. Last little bit of Breweriana. Can you deal with it easy yet? Oh no, Dion, don't do Rolf Harris impressions. Remember, paedophiles aren't popular. So this is another one of those rubberoid figurines. This one is King George IV, Old Scotch Whiskey. There's a book on these sorts of things and this one was on the front, so it must be a good one. You can see around there where it's uh, cracked a little bit. But that's to be understood, it's sat on a bar for fucking ages. Again, with this chap, I reckon we're looking at between 50 and 60. And that was part of the 5 for 90 thing. So potentially on the 5 for 90 thing, I could make maybe 300 quid, which is not a bad return. But obviously I might not make that, so it's my risk. No, I've not had a haircut. It's a picture of a German. It's just a really nice picture. It's probably actually post-war. A lot of soldiers had pictures like this after the war in England and Germany. Now obviously it's been hand tinted, but it's a decent size. I paid £25 for it, and I'm sure to be honest I won't make very much on this at all. I'll maybe double my money, if I'm lucky. But I like having stuff like this, even if only for a short period of time. For a start it gets people to come into the shop and have a look around, and secondly it's just interesting. So why not own it for a bit? And if I could do a drum roll, I would do a drum roll. Let's do a drum roll. Absolute beauty. It's a bit of cubism pottery, art deco, and I absolutely love it. But when I saw it, it was absolutely love at first sight. I saw it on the stall and I thought, damn, that's good. That might have to come home with me. And then I saw the price, it was 90 quid. And I thought, ah, it was only a vase and I've never ever spent 90 pounds on a vase before. In the end, I got it for 78 pounds. Now the reason that I did that was because I left the stall to think about it and I had a quick look at the name at the bottom, Terra Lore, a set with this and two other similar buildings in the same cubism style came up and that set was selling for around about 2,200. I don't think for a second that this will get a third of that. As it's so unusual, it might get a few hundred quid. I'll certainly price it at a few hundred quid to begin with because I don't want to part with it just yet. It's too nice. And that's something that I do quite often. I'll buy something, I'll think, right, I want to live with this for a bit, so I'm going to massively overprice it. And I stick it online for a price where I think, pa, no one will buy it at that price. 
and almost immediately someone buys it at that price. It's a double-edged sword. On one hand, yay, I'm making loads of money. On the other hand, boo, I'm getting rid of the object. I really don't want this to sell just yet. I think I might even put it online for something really stupid like 400 quid. Because, you know, if it's sold at 400 quid, I'll tell it. Bye-bye. See ya. That is your lot for today. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that you found it informative or entertaining. And I hope you like the little white pussy cat. Give the video a thumbs up if you would be so kind. And hmm, that's about it, really. I really wish my hair didn't look so shit in these videos. I want Vicky to cut it because I don't go to hairdressers because, well, I'm too cheap to do that sort of thing. I'll just get Vicky to, like, hack away at it. Maybe by the next video, I'll have slightly shorter hair. And there we have a haircut.